Good morning. Good morning, Doug. Yes. Hey, this is Willie Tyler in Billings, Montana. Hey, how are you? I'm good. You're a hard guy to get a hold of, man. Oh yeah, that was a that was a time zone snafu, but uh And the front desk guy doesn't speak very much English. Yeah, no, I thought you were calling on my cell phone this time. Oh, I don't I don't know. I got a hold of you now though, that's all that matters. Yes, sir. It's good to hear your voice, man. I'm a big fan. Oh, thanks. I'm looking forward to coming back to Billings. Have you been here before? Uh, in the early days, just starting out on what they called triple runs. Okay. Uh, I, I remember the last time I was there, I opened for the Edgar Winter Group <laughs> at a biker bar and had a, a woman launch a beer bottle at me, which missed me and hit Carmen a piece's drum set. And as the security was coming over to throw her out, I started singing the na na hey hey goodbye song. <laughs> but they didn't throw her out. They asked her nicely to not do it again. Uh huh. Sure. And I said, "Wow, everyone gets one free shot at the comedian. That's great." <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully it goes a little smoother this time. You probably got a little better venue than uh, than a biker bar this time around. Yeah, Bones but, uh, is a beautiful place. You're going to enjoy it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Have you now, been? Now you're going to sell me some tickets. Oh, we'll sell some tickets. <laughs> I think you've already sold a lot of tickets. I know people are real excited. Uh, I am. You're a much bigger name than uh, a lot of the comedians that we get to town. So, uh, yeah, but I, I, uh, I'm, I, I'm a fan of there. We're, we're of we're Montana. Not, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, I'm actually staying in the hotel. I probably shouldn't say this, but I already did. Was <laughs> staying at that hotel that uh, that I saw on Hotel Impossible. Oh yeah, where uh, I'm going. Don't ruin that hotel. That's that's <laughs> every place I love to stay. That's the whole reason you go to places like Montana. That place is actually haunted. I've I've uh, stayed there uh, before. Yeah, that's uh, that's everyone's last gasp to try to beat a corporate chain is to go. Oh, we're haunted too. Did we mention that? Ask him. Ask him for the haunted room when you get here. I know. I know you won't be staying under your own I, name. I though. think You're like, I'm going to leave a haunted room. <laughs> What's this mysterious stain? Voodoo. <laughs> you. Uh, how long have you been doing comedy, Doug? Long time, right? Yeah, it'll be uh, 23 years this this summer. Wow. You got your start in Vegas. Uh, yeah, yeah. I started in Vegas for six months. Moved to Phoenix, chasing some whore, <laughs> uh, and uh, that'll happen. Yeah, and then just started living on the road back in the uh, the, the triple run days, uh, and uh, moved to L.A. in '95 and moved the hell out of there in 2005 and just been living small town since. What did you uh, w- w- did you always plan on being a comedian or did you just kind of no happen? no I just I just did, did comedy uh, you know, the same way you you do karaoke <laughs> as an open mic night I could try this awesome yeah. What what did you do before comedy? Uh, fraud telemarketing. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was probably a funnier fraud telemarketer than I was a comic. <laughs> you don't? Uh, do you do any acting? Do you end up in a lot of movies like a lot of other? No, comedians? No, no, I, I suck at acting. <laughs> really? I, yeah, I did. I did one. Uh, I did one uh, thing on the Louis C.K. show. Uh, oh, playing a, right. a suicidal, yeah. washed-up comic, so it wasn't that far. For it wasn't a big stretch. <laughs> you were like his nemesis or something on that episode, right? Yeah, it was an old friend that. Uh, yeah, we or went something. different paths. Do you and, have you known Louis for for a long time? Uh, yeah, not not real well. He's not like a guy I call up when I'm you know, drunk dial. But uh, yeah, I've known him for for fifteen years or so. Very cool. <laughs> I'm trying not to talk the the atheist thing the the Oklahoma uh, tornado. Oh yeah, victim. why would you stay away from that? <laughs> Are you going to lose listeners? No, I no, absolutely not. I barely have any listeners to begin with. We're we're fine. <laughs> but I thought that was uh, I thought that was pretty pretty uh, neat of you. Yeah, for the for the listening audience, if you missed the clip, it went viral. Yeah, I really have to see the clip to see how awkward it was. Wolf Blitzer's uh, interviewing some tornado victim uh, standing in the rubble of her old home. And I guess he's so used to hearing everyone saying, well, we praise Jesus and praise the Lord, and the Lord spared us, and we're praying and praying the Lord Jesus, that he goes, at the end of the interview, he goes, well, you must really thank the Lord for this. And she ducks the question and moves on, and he goes, uh, 
but you really do thank the Lord, don't you? And it was very awkward. And she goes, uh, actually, I'm an atheist. <laughs> and he didn't know what to say. But no. so that video goes viral. And I, I, I was such a, you know, <laughs> I was so happy to hear someone say they're an atheist in that situation that uh, we, we started a Kickstarter kind of fund on Indiegogo uh, just to, let's go, let's raise money just for that tornado victim. <laughs> Not all of them, just the one who said she's an atheist. And you guys did, you raised a ton of money for her. Last I checked, it was like $115,000. That's awesome. It's so, well, 118 now. It hit 50000 in under 24 hours. So evidently there's enough people like us that are so sick of hearing about, oh, thank Jesus. Jesus is the one that sent the tornado then. <laughs> if you believe in Jesus, yeah, he's the one that he just, he threw all your crap into Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess that's, that's absolutely true. Um, man, we're looking forward to it. It's uh, Saturday night, Bones Brewing. Uh, there's still a few tickets available, but this one's definitely going to sell out. You're a one night only kind of guy. Yes, sir. Is that because you get just that that wasted and you don't want to do another night the next night? Montana's yeah, no, you a always, party place. Yeah, always keep your shame in the rearview mirror. <laughs> get in, stir up trouble, get the hell out. And get out. All right, Doug Stanhope, one night only, June 15th. Thank you for taking the time to talk today, man. Hey, have a great one. Thanks.